In this video, I will teach you the basics of Java in just seven minutes. You will learn how to print text, how to use if statements, for loops, while loops, and then how to input data into the program. Since this is a beginner tutorial, I'm going to use an online Java compiler so that we don't have to install anything. Okay, so first we need to declare both the class and the method. And they're both going to be of the public type so that they're visible to all. And then for the method, we're going to use the main method, which is the starting point of the program. Because this is a beginner tutorial, you don't really have to worry about what static void and so on means. And then inside the curly brackets, we're then going to add the print statement, which you get by typing in system.out.println and then inside the parentheses, hello world. Okay, and then we can execute the program after adding the semicolon. And in the result output, you can see the hello world print. Next, we can take a look at the if statement, which is very important when programming. And the if statement is used to specify a block of code to be executed if the if condition is true. So well, let's uh, declare a variable with the temperature equals to 19. And if the temperature is above 30 degrees, we're going to print the text, it's hot today. And then at the end of the line, make sure to add a semicolon so that the program runs properly. And when we execute the script, there won't be any output because the if condition is false. So let's increase the temperature. And as you can see, we now get the it's hot today output. We can also add an else statement so that if the if condition is not met, we'll print the block of code below the else statement instead. So when we set the temperature variable to 20 degrees Celsius, you can see that we print the line of code from the L statement, which is, it's not hot today. Okay, so next we can add a for loop so that you get familiar with a for loop in Java. So uh, for int i, zero, and then make sure to add a semicolon and i less than 100. And then for each loop, we're going to add one, which means that it goes from zero to 99. And then we can print out the value. So let's print i. So by using the for loop, we can run a block of code for a specified number of times. And now it counts to 100 because it's less or equal to 100. Okay, so next, we can do a while loop, which is similar to the for loop, and it runs a block of code as long as the specified condition is true. So let's say, for example, that while i is uh, less or equal to 40, we will print i. And then in order for the program not to get stuck, we need to add 1 to i for each loop. So uh, i plus equals 1. And now it counts from 0 to 40. We can also add some text at the end, like hello. And now it's going to count from 0 to 40 and also print hello. Next, we can take a look at the different data types in Java and how to convert between them. First, we have int, which is short for integer which are whole numbers with no decimal point. We also have float, which is a number that has a decimal place. We also have char, which stores a uh, character. And then we have boolean, which stores a boolean value, which is either true or false. And we also have the uh, string type, which uh, stores text. So, uh, hello world, for example. Now, if you want to convert the int variable to a float variable, for example, we uh, 
just to remove this uh, text and then parentheses float and then the variable you want to convert into a float variable and then semicolon and when we print the new variable you can see that it now has a uh, decimal place executes and now it's 2.0 instead of just 2 which it would be with the integer type okay and then next i'm going to show you how to input values so first you need to import the java.utils.scanner and then you need to add the scanner to the uh, scripts so scanner and then give the scanner a name i'm just going to call it scanner and then new scanner and this will allow us to add the inputs i'm also going to print a uh, bit of text before we add the input so that people know what to type in i'm just going to uh, add h and then in the next line of code people can input their h into the h variable which we will print later so byte h and then scanner dot next byte right. people can input their age and then we're going to print the age and then make sure to add a semicolon at the end make it interactive and then execute the code and then we can type in our age so just type in any number and it's going to return the age and then next we can add some uh, text as well so let's first print how old are you and then in the uh, output we can uh, type out you are plus age plus years old so that when we run the scripts we can type in our age and it's going to return you are x years old 